Waz is, I like watching Waz. He's a good player. Um, All right. Sweet, beautiful, quick life. I don't know. Fleischer's got a carrot in front of him. 3,000 bucks can buy a lot of vodka. <laughs> nah, he's going to save that for QuakeCon. Come on. <laughs> he has to outdo 2009 with his showing at 2010. So, all right, guys, we are in game, and holy crap, we have players on the server. Yes, all, right. all winnings by myself will be donated to the Quick Live TV. So everyone should be cheering for me. <laughs> nice, dude. That's wow, my QuakeCon plane ticket right there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we do have Death Row and Gills on the server. And they have beautiful pings. We are about to get the Evil Geniuses Masters Cup Series underway. This is the opening match, Death Row versus Gills. And this beautiful tournament is sponsored by MSI Notebook. And uh, I want to just give it one more big shout out to the um, manager of e Evil Geniuses, Sir Scoots who, uh, with his contacts and talent, have helped to put this, uh, what's going to be a massive series together. Quake Live is the first stage of it, and then we're going to be able to see uh, throughout the uh, next coming months Counter-Strike 1.6, StarCraft 2, and I believe some Team Fortress as well. So, I'm going to let them know that we are ready. And we'll try to get this underway as soon as possible. Once again, uh, second matchup is going to be TGM versus Judge. So make sure to stay stu stay tuned after this initial matchup of Death Row versus Guilds. DM6, T7, and ZTN. That's going to be the map order. So, you know, I just wanted to actually call it out in case people can't read the text. Um, that's going to be the map order for tonight. And that's basically going to be set in stone for this opening round. That's... Those are the map choices. But considering that this is a 64-man uh, bracket, we will certainly see every single map known uh, to man. And it also means it really tests the skills of these players across every single arena. So I actually kind of like this setup. We'll see uh, how it bears out. I think we're getting pretty close to going live. Just waiting on Gills to hit the big fat F3. He's currently warming up his rail. This the good thing about this map setup is that the way it goes by rounds doesn't allow mm -hmm. a person to to have that one good map that they're really good at. Right. Yeah. Like you have to be good at all the maps if you want to advance. Exactly. Well, we'll just take the time to do a little tour of the map really quick while we're waiting for those final F3s. And uh, in the center of this arena area, we're going to see... Oh, there he goes. He hits... We're going to see a mega health spawn there, but uh, we're going to go live instead. So once again, Evil Geniuses Master Series brought to you by MSI Notebook. Going live right now. Jahar, let's kick this thing off. All right, as is about to be kicked here, we got Gil spawning Mega Health, taking it and heading right back up to Rocket Launcher. He's going to be missing Death Row at the grab for uh, for Red Armor, but he's going to be heading right back on over to Yellow. Kind of interesting that he kind of dilly-dallied and looked over the bridge for initial damage there, uh, but he's going to be able to get Yellow Armor free of charge, now sneaking back up to the top. On the other hand, we got Death Row with a uh, railgun in hand already, as well as Rocket Launcher, Shoddy, and Plasma. So second fight, actually, First side's going to be here at the mm. second spawn for Red Armor, and oh, the LG from Guilds is going to be a very solid first frag. That's 38% during that, so LG definitely getting all the talking, and Guilds now spawning back up, and he's got good timing on Mega as well, and he's finally going to be picking himself up a railgun. And uh, Death Row spawned over near Yellow Armor, but doesn't have much for weapons. Look at this, Guilds actually might be able to do some long-range damage. It doesn't quite connect, but the really key thing to talk about is... As far as opening aim goes and opening weapon choices, Gills had the perfect weapon choice. Lightning gun, whenever you're maneuvering quickly around those stairs near the red armor, is the choice weapon to have. The rocket launcher is a far, far less useful weapon to have when you're in Death Row's position, and we saw how those two weapons matched up in that situation. Now, had Death Row been on uh, where Gills is now, on bridge, then yes, rocket launcher is an enormously strong weapon, but when you're on that mid-tier, rocket timing. launcher... Not too good. So Gil, again, delaying. He also delayed Mega, so uh, let's just mention that he also delayed Red Armor there, so Gil's has timing of both items, um, and I'm going to see if he's going to use this to his advantage. He's looking for someone to kill, and it's, of course, Death Row hanging out near Yellow Armor, which he just picked up. Gil's is now going to drop in on Mega, and he's going to basically try to bet that Death Row doesn't know Mega timing, and he really doesn't. He actually is backing off to mid-tier, and that rocket just barely does a little bit of splash. Gil's is 
pretty much, he has everything set here. Death Row will be stuck with just the two yellow armors that he's collected so far, Jahar. Yeah, and this is looking like a really, really solid airtight locking of the map by Gills. And DM6 being so control heavy like this, especially with Gills uh, nice. modifying the timing so that he won't. Oh, nice rail there. But he won't ever be allowing Death Row to go, okay, Red and Mega spawning at the same time. He's really avoiding all those situations. So even those little holes in a map like this can really open it up for your opponent. But again, really not allowing that. Actually, that was Gills uh, timing the Red so that it came out just about the same time time as uh, Mega, but Death Row, again, not having any of the timing, he might have some of the sound cues after this one, but Gills is just nailing in the rails now, 44% so far, and really keeping Death Row on the back corner of the map. Death Row, literally, he's stalling for time. He has nowhere to go right now, and Gills has him completely set and locked on that side of the map. Well, actually, I'm, I'm really, uh, as much as it's, we've seen Gills control this map, and of course DM6 is probably one of the easiest maps to control, considering there's only one red armor, one yellow armor, and one mega health as power-ups. But, to Death Row's credit, he has not given away another frag since the true, initial one. True, true. And, you know, yes. that's something that, uh, as far as style goes, Death Row, it's great that we're seeing calm and cautious Death Row versus uh, plus four Death Row. I think that sometimes... Um, Let's see, on DM13 especially, Death Row can get a little bit too aggressive, and it's great to see in this opening matchup, he's really kind of taking his time to feel out kills, feel out his opponent, and uh, see what he can get away with. And again, like that right there, that's a great, that's a great hit. And um, That's a door opener. Yeah, it, well, not exactly, because he still doesn't have timing on items, but he's it's been able to get yeah. away without Gills doing any damage against him. Um, if you go take a look, he has 100 armor. Okay, so he's been able to maintain that, even though Gills has laid every now and then a, a railgun shot, or, or in that case, a nice, great rocket, and Gills is going to rocket jump up, because he knows he's got the advantage here. Death Row landing a couple of rockets to knock off the armor stack of Gills, but that second frag comes in, and uh, quite frankly, Gills will maintain control of this thing. Death Row is back to the drawing board, and he's able to sneak away with the yellow armor. Oh, he's actually stuck up on the yellow armor platform, and Gills oh. gets a rail in. That's going to cripple him for the next probably minute and a half, and there is an easy peasy mega and kills even jumping over rockets like he's neo from the matrix very nice all right, we see Death Row heading over for rail. Gills is laying the trap, misses it though, and ends up taking a little bit of splash, and more important than the damage is that nice. they knocked him out of position, making about, oh, 0.75 milliseconds um, seconds late to red armor. Another nice rocket from Death Row. Nice item timing there, and Gills oh. is just walking wow. into them, gets floated up by that, but he picks up another frag, but now he's stackless. We got about exactly. another second of Mega. I mean, Gills is going to be able to, to work this up, but this allows Death Row this is a good to play. go and get a clean grab for Mega. Oh! There we go. Nice. Gills did that, that was a really, really important play for Gills because otherwise, if he went straight for red, Death Row would have been able to get good position on that. So Gills taking the chance, going for the aim, getting them in, and still rocking 41% rail right now. So really nice play for Gills to lock that side of the map. Yeah, as a fresh spawn, Death Row really didn't have any good options. The yellow armor was unfortunately the obvious one, and Gills was like, well, I know I have a few seconds before that red spawns. Now, here is an entrance here. Oh, and Death Row not able to uh, capitalize on it. Um, he does do a little bit of damage, but one more good shot, and Death Row is pretty much done. In fact, that cripples him. That gives Gills an easy red. Uh, Death Row now down to 38 health, no armor, and Gills is actually just um, holding position, trying to force Death Row up a jump pad or something like that to get an easy frag. Either way, he's going to fall back, and now he can get um, you know, Death Row not having a railgun. This is actually something Gills can control, given his position on the map. Let's see what he chooses to do. And this is actually really interesting because for the first time, Gills has lost track of Death Row just <laughs> for a second. He's got a beat on him now, and we've got a rush over to red, but for now, once again, I mean, you can see that Gills a little bit early to it, so if Death Row, I mean, look at all this time that he has now, so Gills' mm -hmm. early uh, strategy and his early MO was all about keeping Death Row on that side of the map, letting him have no easy escape, and now Death Row has free reign. Gills is better stat, Gills is better aim at the moment, but right now, Death Row, uh, he can kind of scope things out now, he's got some more freedom. Yeah, and of course, this being a single elimination, makes it kind of a critical thing. This oh, really? is a best of three, and so it's always good to call out the rules. But the key thing that I'm seeing is the time. The time is ticking away. And look at that beautiful